What's going on on my YouTube videos? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys and continuing on in my series of Billy Wilder reviews in today's video I'll be taking a look at the 1957 romantic comedy Love in the Afternoon. Love struck conservatory student Ariane pretends to be just as much a cosmopolitan lover as the worldly mature Frank Flanagan hoping that Lemua will take hold. So Love in the Afternoon was released in 1957, the second of three Billy Wilder directed films that came out that year. I previously reviewed The Spirit of St. Louis on my channel, a criminally underrated film in Billy Wilder's filmography. And I'll be doing the third one next in my Billy Wilder director project. So, Love in the Afternoon. This has the ingredients of a great Billy Wilder film. It's got that witty, quippy banter that you expect in a lot of these Billy Wilder films that make his stories engaging. There are some great comedic elements in this movie, especially the opening sequence of the film. There's a slow buildup to something that happens. Audrey Hepburn overhears the conversation. It starts building up a little bit suspenseful and it pays off to a great joke that I really, really liked. Audrey Hepburn is in this movie. She stole the show in Sabrina and she is just as fantastic in Love in the Afternoon. I love just seeing Audrey Hepburn on screen. She was one of the most beautiful actresses that ever graced a silver screen. And she still has that appeal all these years later. I love seeing Audrey Hepburn, even if the movie's not as good as some of her other films. And she's really great in this movie. I also really enjoyed Maurice Chevalier. I always mispronounce the guy's last name. I'm so sorry. French actor. He plays the father of Audrey Hepburn's character, who's a detective. And I enjoyed his delightful performance as well. So there's good elements in this movie. The film was shot on location in Paris, France. And some of the location shots are stunning, even in black and white. So this is a really, really good setup of a movie on paper. The movie was not that big of a hit when it came out. Critics were mixed on this movie. This isn't seen as one of Billy Wilder's best films, although there are people who do see it as a hidden gem. Uh, as for me, even though it has a good setup, I'm pretty much alienated and frustrated overall by this film. And a lot of it has to do with the romance of this movie. I could not buy into the romance of this movie at all, which is sad because Gary Cooper is a great actor. Gary Cooper. He did a lot of great performances in his day. If you have seen the movie High Noon, he is phenomenal in that movie. I cannot buy the romance in this movie one minute between Gary Cooper and Audrey Hepburn, which it might come off as hypocritical of me to say that because Audrey Hepburn has starred in movies where her character falls in love with older men. We've even seen that previously in a previous Billy Wilder film in Sabrina. Uh, she started going out with Humphrey Bogart in that movie, who was way older than Hepburn in that movie. And she also fell for Cary Grant in Charade. And I thought they were great together in that movie. So you can have that age difference play out in some of these movies, and it'll still work fine because the actors have the chemistry and they bounce off each other, and it works fine. Here, it just something just did not click for me in this movie. And I kept struggling and struggling to figure out why isn't this working? Because the dialogue is good. I was engaged by some of the dialogue in the movie. Hepburn is stunning. But why? Why am I not clicking with this? Why isn't it working with Gary Cooper? Even though he's clearly committed to the movie, he's committed to the performance. Why isn't it clicking? I think when I was watching it, I could just see the difference. And I'm like, yeah, Gary Cooper looks more like her dad than her lover. I didn't feel that when watching the other movies. It just comes off weirder 
when you're actually just sitting there and you can't see the illusion that you're watching a movie and two actors acting. Two different actors with a big age difference and you see it and it just doesn't work when you're overthinking the movie. And that's the biggest detriment that this movie has. And also, the, the movie, a the good chunk of the movie is Audrey Hepburn just playing him on because Gary Cooper's character, Frank, lives the playboy lifestyle. Audrey Hepburn's character, Ariane, hasn't fallen in love in her life. She's just a schoolgirl. And she's just leading him on like she's like going after all the men and she's richer than he is and stuff like that. How many other men were there? You mean before I met you, or since I met you, or all together? Quit stalling. I told you I have a date. The man you live with? No, this is another man, a younger man, the man I play with. Wait a minute. You... You mean there's one man you live with, and another man you... And just hearing minutes and minutes and minutes of her just playing with him and leading him on, it got old after a while to the point where I'm like, I just don't care about this anymore. And the ending, oh my gosh, the ending of this movie was ridiculous. Like, I was enjoying what it was building up to, uh, how the connections were all there and stuff, especially when the father, Maurice, finds out about their relationship was genuinely funny. I will give it that. But the ending of the movie... In the train station. I'm not spoiling it if you haven't seen it, but I cringed because of how ridiculous it played out. How it played out, I don't know what Billy Wilder was thinking. Like, the, <laughs> I don't get it. I, I am at a loss for words. I just don't understand what happened with this movie. It's not a terrible movie. It's not a seven-year itch bad. At least this one has some funny moments in it. Unlike The Seven Year Itch, which was completely annoying. This has its moments, and it had the potential to be a great film. But I think if you had a different actor that was not Gary Cooper, that would play better with Audrey Hepburn, I think this would be a great movie. But as is, it's a man movie in my opinion. Like, there's... Aspects I like, but this movie overall does fall flat at the end of the day. It's definitely not one of the strongest suits from Billy Wilder. I can definitely see it was why it had a mixed reaction back then, and I can't see this movie winning over any newcomers anytime either. Uh, this one, it's interesting for a one-time watch, and if you like the movie, I can definitely see why, because there are good elements sprinkled in it. But it's definitely not on par with some of Billy Wilder's other films. It definitely pales compared to the other Audrey Hepburn starring Billy Wilder film, Sabrina, which was a pretty great movie. This one just falls flat at the end of the day, but it's not horrible either. I, I will stress this. Any Billy Wilder film, even his mad ones, are better than The Seven Year Itch. Because, my gosh, The Seven Year Itch is a true stinker in Billy Wilder's filmography. So, Love in the Afternoon. What am I rating this one? I'll be giving Love in the Afternoon a 3 out of 5 stars, and on the 100-point scale, it's getting a 56 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Love in the Afternoon as part of my Billy Wilder director project, where I'm going through his complete filmography from his directing debut to his last film, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're a fan of Billy Wilder, I'll leave a link in the description below for a playlist where you can check out the other Billy Wilder reviews I've covered on my channel. Uh, at the time of this video, I reviewed plenty of Billy Wilder's films. I reviewed movies like Double Indemnity. I did a collab with Ryan Cam on The Lost Weekend. I reviewed The Major and the Minor, Sunset Boulevard, Ace in the Hole, Sabrina, The Seven Year Itch, Spirit of St. Louis, just to name a few. I got more Billy Wilder reviews coming on the channel, so if you're a fan of Billy Wilder and want to catch up on my past videos, feel free to click the link in the description below for my playlist where you can see more and check out my past videos. Join me next time in my Billy Wilder Director Project where I'll be taking a look at Billy Wilder's third and final release from 1957, and that is the courtroom drama Witness for the Prosecution. 
I have seen this movie before once on TCM. It's been several years, but I remember being absolutely floored by this movie. So I'm excited to revisit it again for the director project. So be on the lookout for my review of Witness for the Prosecution coming to the channel real soon. But if you've seen Love in the Afternoon, let me know down in the comments below, would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content, and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!